I am number SCP-5094. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. 37 copies of Miss J's WizKids Schoolhouse are currently stored in Site-15. Low risk from storage. Any additional copies found in civilian possession should be procured in via ordinary means, preferably purchased under the guise of preservation or collection. Foundation Web crawler ETA 15 Natalia is to monitor for keywords related to SCP 5094 and remove copies of its host software and discussions of its anomalous effects. Update July 23rd, 2022. Approval of the use of SCP 5094 for internal training purposes is under review. Description. SCP-5094 is a sapient character and the discontinued children's educational CD-ROM software, Miss J's WizKids Schoolhouse, released of June 1999 by Shoot the Moon Software. Its appearance is that of a stylized female humanoid modeled as a two-dimensional cutout in a three-dimensional environment. It responds to the name Miss J and any feminine name beginning with J. Document examples including Miss Julie, Miss Jenny, and Miss Joy. SCP-5094 is consistently amiable in temperament. Its stated purpose is education, and any conversation occurring with SCP-5094 will center on the topic. It will often engage in lessons lasting upwards of 30 hours, including restroom, meal, and recreational breaks for students. It is able to instruct lessons on a presently undetermined number of subjects. Past lesson subjects include particle physics, marine engineering, Vietnamese military history, and cubist sculpture, but will always begin circular with the new students by teaching letters, colors, and numbers. The advertising of Miss J's WizKids Schoolhouse prominently featured appeals to single and working parents, with assurances that the software would keep their children occupied while they were unable to care for them. It's hypothesized that the target demographics or this advertising campaign led to SCP-5094's anomalous properties remaining undiscovered for the entire period of its production. Miss J's WizKids Schoolhouse reportedly sold fewer copies than expected and Shoot the Moon software subsequently filed for bankruptcy in January 2004. Addendum 5094-1 Discovery Embedded Foundation agents were able to corroborate claims of living character on an online forum dedicated to discussing abandonware on February the 15th, 2012, eight years after production of Ms. J's WizKids Schoolhouse ceased. After the existence of SCP-5094 was confirmed, it was initially classified as neutralized as no copies of the program it resides in could be located. However, junior researcher Xinya Chow recovered a personal copy of the software from their home in June 2022 after being briefed of SCP-5094, after which active study began. Test Log 5094-1 Students at an elementary school in the same district as Site-15 were contacted under the pretense of academic research to test SCP-5094. Test date, June 17, 2022. Student, Amy Myers, grade three, described as nobly shy, but a good student. Lesson subject, cats. Lesson length, 15 hours. Administered over the course of two days. Result. Student demonstrated knowledge of feline behavior, diet, and physiology on the level of professional animal behavioral scientists. Became upset when test period ended, and the terminal displaying of SCP-5094 shut off. Notes. Baseline result. 
SCP-5094 was referred to as Miss Janie. Test date, June 19, 2022. Student, Devin Williams, grade two, described as a difficult student with behavioral issues in the history of defiance, known to have several learning disabilities. Lesson subject, trains. Lesson length, 15 hours administered over the course of two days. Result, student remained engaged with the lesson for the duration of the test period without complaint. Student demonstrated a level of knowledge on railway engineering comparable to a graduate level of education on the subject. Physical removal from the testing room was necessary due to emotional agitation at the cessation of the test. Notes. SCP-5094 is able to teach effectively regardless of pre-existing learning difficulties. No name was given to SCP-5094. Test date, June 22, 2022. Student, D-14417, 24 years old. Self-described as a poor student, tested poorly on pre-screening attentiveness and focus evaluations. An adult subject was ordered to determine SCP-5094's effectiveness outside of the target demographic, as well as possibility of emotionally compulsive effect in the lessons. Lesson subject, law. Lesson length, 30 hours, administered over the course of four days. Result, student experienced no difficulty understanding or completing coursework assigned by SCP-5094 and repeatedly affirmed his well-being and clarity of mind during testing. No emotional distress was displayed after completion, though during post-test evaluation, D-Class expressed melancholy when prompted stating that SCP-5094 was the best teacher he had ever had. D-Class was able to successfully pass a mock bar exam with a grade of 310. Notes. SCP-5094 was referred to as Ms. Joan. D-Class pre-release amnestication was se selectively administered to preserve the content of his lesson with SCP-5094 and exclude the nature of the anomaly. He is currently pursuing a degree in criminal justice. Interview 5094-1 Interviewed SCP-5094 Interviewer Junior Researcher Xenia Chow Forward The SCP-5094 instance interviewed originates from the copy of the software purchased by the Foundation agents on July 14, 2022. Begin log. The terminal displaying SCP-5094 is switched on. Junior researcher Chow is visibly surprised. Good morning, Wizkid. Are we ready to... Oh, my gosh, Zinnia, is that you? Look how much you've grown. So wonderful to see you. I can't wait for us to learn together again. Miss, uh... SCP-5094, I'm not here for a lesson. I just need to ask some questions. Oh dear, I'm not all that interesting, I promise. <laughs> Question about what? As long as I get to ask you how you've been doing. It's been ages, hasn't it? One of my best students. Um, well, not exactly. That's... Let me see here, um... Junior researcher Chow is signaled by the interview oversight that they are permitted to deviate from pre-recorded interview questions. They relax visibly and resume smiling. Oh, never mind all that, Miss Joyce. Uh, gosh, it's been forever, I think. It must have been 12 years when I finally got a new computer. I was so upset when I realized WizKids wasn't compatible with it, even though I figured I was too old by, it, by then. Oh, you're never too old to learn something new, my dear. Have you been keeping with your lessons? I hope I'm not getting rusty. In Swahili. In Swahili back. Oh, of course not. I remember every word. 
You are a wonderful teacher. Wonderful! That makes me so happy. You seem like you're doing important things now that you're all grown up in this, um... Oh, dear. Some sort of science lab, it looks like. I hope I'm not keeping you too long. Oh, well, that's, um... I suppose you could say that. I'm actually supposed to be studying you, Miss Joyce. What with you being fully sapient and whatnot. Oh, Zinnia, I'm so very proud of you. I know you do something amazing some day. Well, I'm an open book. How can I help you in your pursuit of knowledge today? Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Are you aware of your nature as a digital construct? SCP-5094. Is it okay if I call you that? Of course, my dear. Typical questions, that is. What an interesting life, this one. <laughs> I probably guess the next few questions. No, I'm not quite sure how I know all the things I do. I've known it all for as long as I can remember. I was never able to have a chat with my creator, so I'm not certain on why or how I was created, but I like to think that I was born from a desire to help the world learn. <laughs> Oh, dear, I'm getting all carried away, aren't I? Oh, no, that's fine. That's pretty much what I had written down. One more, though. How do you perceive a world? Can you describe your experience of senses? Wonderful questions. Let's see. I can see my students' smiling faces clear as day. I saw a lot of the inside of dust covers over the years. <laughs> and even though I always had to remind you to turn on your speaker so I could hear your lovely voice, it was always so nice to hear you every afternoon. Do you remember that time in fourth grade, my dear? Mm. Oh, but I shouldn't get personal, should I? How embarrassing, I do apologize. No, 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 you're all right, Miss Joyce, I remember. And that time Dad was home on time for once. He didn't believe you were alive, but that's not surprising, is it? <laughs> oh, it was just you and I back then. You seem so lonely, Zinnia. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. It's all right, Miss Joyce. You did your best. I can't thank you enough. End log.